Hello, this is Father David, here with day six of the Dormition Fast 2023. Today is Sunday, and as it happens, also August 6th this year, the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. And our meditation today comes from St. Maximus the Confessor, uh, his second century on theology, his works that he would write uh, called Centuries, and he writes here in this meditation, the Lord does not always appear in glory to all who stand before him. To beginners, he appears in the form of a servant. To those able to follow him as he climbs the high mountain of his transfiguration, he appears in the form of God, the form in which he existed before the world came to be. It is therefore possible for the same Lord not to appear in the same way <coughs> to all who stand before him, but to appear in, to some in one way and to others in another way, according to the measure of each person's faith. When the Logos of God becomes manifest and radiant in us, and his face shines like the sun, then his clothes will also look white. That is to say, the words of the gospel will then be clear and distinct with nothing concealed. And Moses and Elijah, the more spiritual principles of the law and the prophets, will also be present with him. Now, St. Maximus, when he's talking about this, uh, you know, we look sometimes at the Transfiguration and wonder, you know, what is the purpose behind this feast? You know, is Christ simply showing off? Is he revealing his glory? You know, the, the hymns of our church show that he revealed his glory to his disciples so that when they would behold him crucified, the Kentuckian for the feast says, they would understand that his suffering was voluntary. And indeed we know that Moses and Elijah were speaking with him about his exodus, his leaving the world, his Passover, right? his movement from death into life. And so it was connected, of course, to his passion and resurrection. But it is interesting that when he appears he shows himself to Peter, James, and John in so far as they could bear it or so far as they could see it. However, he appears in the form of God, St. Maximus says, the form in which he existed before the world came to be. So Peter, James, and John were not seeing anything new. Christ did not change himself in order to shine with the radiance of heaven. And we know this truly because every demon-possessed person that ever saw the Lord when he would come into a synagogue and a demon-possessed person was there, the demon-possessed person would cry out, you know, what have you to do with me, Jesus, son of David? You know, O righteous one, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Christ would say to him, you know, I like the way Father Lawrence Farley in his uh, scriptural commentary says, be muzzled, you know, shut up and come out of him. Now, to be truthful, he was doing this because he was thinking, or in other words, if I would not say what the Son of God was thinking, but to say they'll never crucify him if they know that he is the Son of God. If they were to know what the demons saw. And it was that same light that was on Mount Tabor. And the difference was that for the apostles, it was terrifying. For Moses and Elijah, it was glorious. For the angels, it's glorious. For the demons, it's hell. It is punishment. It is, it is incoming doom. So the question is, where are we? As St. Maximus says, when we stand before him, for him to appear to some in one way and to others in another way, according to the measure of each person's faith, when the logos of God, the word of God becomes manifest and radiant in us and his face shines like the sun, his clothes will look white. That is to say, the words of the gospel will be clear and distinct. <coughs> That which he always is will be manifest to us as clear. 
So on this Feast of Transfiguration, you know, let us understand who it is that we're dealing with. Let us come to liturgy. If we're seeing this video after liturgy, we come home and we realize that we have partaken of the flesh and blood. Or if you did not partake of communion today, you were in the presence of the one who shone brighter than the sun, the truly the son of God, the one who laid down his life for us voluntarily. No man took his life from him. But this transfiguration shows us not only who he is, but what he would have us to be, to shine with that same radiance that the Holy Spirit that is within us would eventually transfigure us and that we would shine with the glory of God for eternity. So as we go through this storm mission fast, as we prepare ourselves, as we go to confession, let us keep that vision for ourselves in mind that we would understand that God does not desire to punish or to uh, destroy us, but to make us glorious as he was on the mountain. So the Lord God bless you. Lord willing, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.